Hey guys, um, welcome to my channel again. This is a review on this small product right here of Salon Selectives. This is the heat protecting um, spray. And you can find these at Dollar Tree. Um, I just wanted to review this. A lot of people were asking me to review this product. Um, this one has coconut oil in it. It says repairs your hair, you know, etc, etc. Now, everybody's hair is different. Everybody's, um, you know, the way they use the product is different. Um, some people use it for different things. Like, this is really for, like... You put it, you spray it all in your hair before you use a straightening iron or a blow dryer or anything like that. Um, for me, I use it as, um, like, it's also for heat protection. So it's also good to spray it in your hair, um, you know, before you go out in the sun. Now, I usually buy, like, products with sun stuff in it or UV protection um, sprays for your hair or things like that. But, um... I noticed that when I've been using this, like I usually wash my hair, um, you know, condition it and stuff like that. I will spray this all over um, before I hit the sun. And then I notice it leaves like a very, very heavy, stiff kind of residue to my hair when it's wet. It's just weird. Um, I don't know. I don't like it too much. Um, I don't see nothing like real special or crazy about this one. Now, I'm not saying Salon Selectives is um, a bad product. Um, they were expensive back in the 80s. Um, and they still have them around to this day. Like, a lot of times, if you go to the store and you see, like, Breck, which is very hard to find, you see the original Prell, you see VO5, you see Suave, White Rain, Salon Selectives, Germac, companies like that. Um, they were very expensive back in the 70s and 80s. Um, but some of them work okay for some people, some people it doesn't. Now some people really love this product, like um, they really think it works good and you know, um, I can't really see the ingredients right now, um, the letter's too small for me and it says I have the flash on my camera, I can't see it. But um, it has like a light coconut smell, it has coconut oil in it, um, but I guess it's okay for um, heat protection like the sun. Um, I only have a little bit left of this now, like probably like half the bottle, so I'm just going to use it up. Why waste it? Um, but I will not be buying this again. Um, there's other good products out there from other companies, other brands and things like that. But this one, um, like I said, it works okay, but I just don't like the heavy, um, sticky feel to it. It's something like a spray gel in a way, like a sticky spray gel type of residue, and I do not like the real heavy uh, greasy, sticky feel into my hair a lot, um, unless you have, like, hairspray or something like that. Um, when it's very hot outside, I like to put my hair in a bun or a, po a long ponytail or whatever. I just like it out of my face. I hate my hair in my face. So, I will slick it back. I really wouldn't care. But, um, like, if you're gonna wear this, um, you know, for the sun and your hair is down and stuff, your hair gets very, very heavy. It's very sticky. I don't know if you guys had the same problem with this if you tried it before, um, but for me it just doesn't work too good like that. Now there's other companies out there that have other similar products, heat protection sprays and stuff like that. So it's always good to protect your hair from the sun and um, you know, just like you do your skin, you protect your hair from the sun. But this one, is, like I said, it's okay. It's like a light, very light smell. Um, I'm not crazy about coconut smelling products you know, for your body and your face and perfume, and I'm not those type of females that like vanilla and coconut and candy, and it's just not me, so, um, I like to eat the coconut and drink coconut, coconut ice cream, things like that, coconut cake, coconut pie, but I would not like, you know, the crazy coconut smell of my hair, but, um, guys, let me know if you ever tried this product before, um, you know, if you liked it, um, you know, if it works for you, but like I said, for me, it leaves like a residue, so I always like shampoo my hair twice and then condition, or I clarify, use a clarifying product, um, to take all the residue out my hair, you know, so my hair is nice and soft and stuff like that. So anyway, um, I just wanted to share this quick little video on a review of this product. Um, let me know if you liked it or what it did for your hair or other ways you used it. Um. Like I said, for me, even when I used it for blow drying and all that, it still left a sticky, thick residue on my hair. I don't know why. It just, 
I don't know. It just doesn't work for me. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. And um, stay tuned for more um, reviews and hauls and all that good stuff. And I will talk to y'all guys later. Bye.